Come on, bring it in, bring it in. You know what time it is. Let's breathe in. Let's thank God for life. We are alive. Let's breathe in. Taking this fresh air. Let's say what time it is. It's knockout time, baby. Come on. Come on, guys. I, I'm I'm excited. Like, let me let me explain to you something. And for those of you who are working on your dreams, for those of you who are working on your goals, and you feel as if life is not serving you though the, the things that you are working on. I want you to say, I want you to keep going. Like, I need you to keep going. I need you to keep pushing forward. I keep, I need you to keep pushing past your pain. I need you to just smile with it. I need you to just work with it. I got three principles that I want to tell you going to change your life. I got three things that are definitely going to help you to, 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 to get you a dream and make it become a reality. So for those of you who have been following me and, and be supporting me, and for those of you who have been buying my books, I just want to say thank you. But folks, of all, I want to tell you, get started. Like, like for real. Like, whatever it is that you're dreaming about, whatever it is you're believing yourself for, I need you to get started. Like, don't, don't stop, like, don't, like, stop thinking about it. Like, for real. Like, like stop thinking about it and start getting started. And, and, and when you stop thinking about it, just getting started, the first thing I want you to do is, first, first principle is to fall in love with it. Like, for real. Like, seriously, I want you to become so in love with the dream that you know that whatever it is, whatever it is that dream is to, to, to fly first class, whatever that dream is to start that new business, to get married, whatever it is, I want you to fall in love with the dream. Like, like the very first time you fell in love, like I remember the very first time I fell in love, like I ran up my mom's home, homeville talking, <laughs> homeville talking on the phone, like for hours to this young lady. Like I, I couldn't put it down. I need you to, to fall in love with the dream. Like it's the very last thing you will do. And I, I want you to understand this. When you fall in love with the dream, I need you to fall in love with the process of working for the dream. Come on. I need you to get to a point that you understand that the dream needs you to fall in love with it. You see, when you understand that that, that, that is loving what you do and doing what you love, that allows you to give up sleep for it. Come on. To, to, to work day and night for it. To execute regardless to the weather. To, to, to regardless to the circumstance, I need you to get to that place that you understand that the dream needs you because the dream chose you. Come on. I need you to understand your dream chose you. You didn't choose the dream. Like, let me tell you something. A lot of people say to me, a thought came first. I believe the dream came first. I believe God gave me the dream. He told me, son, I have appointed you. I have chosen you. I've given you a voice. I've I made your voice become a little bit high, a little bit low. I made the adjustment that, that when the sheep hears your voice, they will come running. I needed to get this, that I understand that the gift inside of me was, was given to me, but I had to have the dream and fall in love with it. So I'm daring you to like say I'm going to fall in love with the dream. Like seriously, like seriously become so in love with the dream that you can't put it down. And then guess what? Every season... <laughs> With every new season, there's a new excitement. So when winter comes, you get you get all oh, excited. When the summer comes, you get more excited. Like when the spring comes, you get more. Let me explain to you, when you understand that you are falling in love and you're so in love with the dream that you know that you cannot put it down. And I'll give you the next one. The next principle that's going to change your life. Like seriously, it changed my life. Not, not it. I got a community of people watching me. I got a community of people that, that are waiting for me to show up. I need you to understand. I understood that my faith was going to take me to the dream. Come on. I want you to get this. Like your faith will take you to the dream. Like the number two thing that you have to do is to understand that your faith will decide how go, how far you go. Your faith will determine how much you have. Your faith, listen to me very, will make you understand there would not be room, <laughs> there would not be room enough for you to receive it. Because when you understand it's your faith that decides that you are special. You are unique. You are a design masterpiece. You are tailor-made. You are fashioned and molded. And when you understand this, you will know that you are not junk. You will know that you are chosen. You don't think average. You don't do average stuff. You understand that you have to separate yourself from the average mindset because you are special to God. 
And God understands that you have an anointing, you have a calling, you have a destiny, you have a dream. And listen to me, he can move you from the prison mm, to the palace. Come on, I need somebody to say, let me explain to you. When you understand the favor uh, of God that is on you, and you know that the favor is inside of you, and whatever you touch, it will multiply. Whatever seed you put in the ground, it will grow. Come on, I need you to get to a point that you understand you don't just think about falling in love with the dream, that you're so excited. The secret is to have the faith that, listen, even though they can't see it, even though you can't see it, even though you seem like you can't touch it, I know you're breathing right now, right? And you can see the air coming out, right? It's cold winter time. I know you can see it. But even though you know some of you can't see it, it's still there because it's inside of the faith that you have. You got to hold on to it so much that you understand nothing is going to stop you. Like, you got to get in your mindset that faith tells you that it's not impossible. Faith tells you that it's not going to be easy, but it's not impossible. Faith tells you that you got what it takes, regardless what your teacher says about you. They call me dunce. They call me hard-headed. They call me slow. They said I would amount to anything, but I found my gift. They told me to shut up in class because I talk too much. And now they want to hear me speak. I need to get this. When you understand that you have to fall in love with it, and then you use your faith to get to it, guess what you got to do? The last one I'm going to pop into your spirit. The very last one that I need you to get in your belly. I need you to understand it's called grit. You got to put in the work. Like, you got to work hard. Let me tell you something. No other motivational speaker, no, put me on any stage, in any room. I will outwork them twice in a day. Like, I will outwork them three times in a day because I understand it's your work ethic that will decide how far you go. Like, yeah, you have to get to a point that work is what you do. Like, you're going to work until it works. Come on, get this in your mind. Say, say with me, I'm going to work until it works. Some of you only work when you feel like it. Like, let me tell you, like, you only work when you think that, okay, um, the TV ain't on. I, my, my favorite program ain't on. Like, my friends ain't coming around. You only work when you clock in and you clock out like you're done. And some of you think that you're going to get the results or become successful or have the dream that you want if you just, okay, do it when the emotions take you. And let me explain to you this. Some of you don't have the standard of work ethics that going to take you to be great when you got, like, you are phenomenal. You are powerful. But you don't know this because you're not acting like this. So the question is what you're going to do. The question is what you're going to do and be willing to do it regardless. Like when you get to that position that you understand that the work ethics, like crazy work ethics. Let me tell you, I go three, four nights without sleep. I go to like four days without sleep. I understand that for me to become successful, for me to be amazing, for me to walk in the authority that God gave me, I have to make sure that I love what I do, that I will use my faith. But most of all, I will do the work <laughs> like, and let the work work for me. Come on, guys, let me explain to you this. Somebody asked me, how did you make it, Gersh? I'm like, from a college dropout. Struggling with learning disability, dyslexia, and dyspraxia. Beaten to learn the Caribbean, called dunce, hard-headed, and slow. How did you make it to becoming one of the number one international motivational speakers in the world? Like, you couldn't even spell your name at the age of 25. Like, how did you do it? Like, moving from homelessness, sleeping on a park bench when your father put you out and said, you don't live here, son, no more. Like, how did you do it? I did it because I understood that God gave me the gift, and most of all, the dream chose me. So somebody, somebody's listening to me today. This is a secret. Like, let me explain to you. There's more around it, but you got to get this three. If you get this three, you'll have the determination. You'll have the consistency. you have the focus. You will realize that what it takes is you showing up regardless to how you feel. So today, 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 I'm, I'm giving you the true secret. Like, this is the real secret of becoming successful. This is the real secret of having the life that you want. This, let me explain to you. When you understand that you love what you love, you'll take ownership. Like, seriously, you want to own this. Like, let me explain. The first time I saw my wife, I was thinking to myself, like, look, I, I, I need it to be mine. It's like, I understood, like, in the very first day, I, I saw, I said, you're going you gonna to be my wife. I understood I had to take ownership. And then guess what? What, what comes with ownership? I got to be responsible. I got to take responsibility of who she is. I understand that I got to provide. I have to protect. I got to plan. I want you to get this. Like, I emerged myself into the love that I believed in. And then when I did that, come on, man. I'm walking in my greatness. I need you to get this in your mindset. 
that you believe that you're becoming because you got faith, you got love, and you're willing to do the work. Like seriously, you're willing to work hard. Like, let me explain to you <laughs> one more thing about working hard, and I need you to get this. You can work smart if you know how to work smart and not hard. Because what who runs the world is thinkers. Like thinkers are the people that get paid for the, the thinking up stuff. <laughs> like bringing up, up the life and they get paid for it because they think about it. So be smart about your work. Like you gotta understand, be the first. Like don't, don't, don't be scared to be the first. Don't be scared to show up in, in, in the present person of that you are. Man, I, I, I'm, I'm going all in because I know that life and death is in the power of the tongue. I know that I have to operate in a space that I'm not defined by my pain. Come on. I'm going, I'm, listen to me very carefully. Like I, I lost my sister to COVID in 2020 and I made a decision y'all I, I said to myself that I will not I will not leave no stone unturned every sheep will hear my voice every person will hear my voice they will hearken on to what I say because I realize urgency determined how quick you get it like <laughs> emergency mode like when you realize how urgent it becomes that you like today you got to make every second count you got to make this moment and every second count and do everything in your power. Come on, guys. Listen to me very carefully. All you got to do is know that this is what it takes. You see, I like Mike Tyson. Now, a lot of people talk about Muhammad Ali. He's, he was the greatest of all time. He said he was the greatest, but I don't think he was the greatest. Like, I believe Mike Tyson revolutionized the game. I ain't got time to be in the ring with you 12 rounds. Like, for real, for real. I ain't got time to be in the ring. <laughs> Come on, guys. I believe... That, that, that Mike Tyson is the greatest of all time because he revolutionized the game where he came into boxing and he wasn't about to like gain a ring and get to, I want to run around with you. No, I want to take you out. I don't want, and even people were scared to get in the ring with him because you know within seconds you could be on the floor. And I believe that it takes one punch, one opportunity, like one moment to change your life. Like everything can flip it right now. Like you just have to embrace this message, believe this message and do everything in your power. To execute and listen to me very carefully for those people that have told you that you can't do it for those people that don't believe in you guess what these are the people that you got to do it for these are the you got to hold on to your why you got to be reach out and say i'm gonna do it for the people that don't believe in me i'm gonna do it for my wife i want to do it for my kids i want to do it for my legacy and the generation that come after me because when you do this guess what happens you tell the world that you are here Come on, someone, I want you to get this in your spirit, man. Listen to me very carefully, knockout time family. I love you guys for all of you that have been watching me. I need you to do me one favor, like share this live with many, share this video with so many people that they will be so inspired that they will be willing to go after your dream. They will use this formula and change their own life forever. I need you to, to comment below that you are amazing. You are powerful. You are great. And do say something positive out of, out of, out of, in the comments of this video. But believe me when I tell you this. What you think, what you think you believe. Like you, you, what you think you become. What you think you act on. So I want you to think on these things that I gave you. And I guarantee you this. <laughs> I guarantee you this. Your life will start to change. Listen to me very key. I live by this slogan. I die by this slogan. Push past your brain. Greatness is next. Like, I believe when you push, some days you're going to have to pray. When you push, some days you might have to cry through it. But like, when you push, some days you're going to have to stay in silence. But when you push, you got to stay consistent. But when your pain comes, you just got to keep pushing through it. Because believe me, all of us go through pain. And we go through some circumstance that we don't understand. Like, why is this happening to me? Why did my sister have to die? Or, or why am I going through grief? Like, why am I going through loss of a job? Like, why is it my, my wife is, is turning his back on me? What, like, why am I going through a divorce? Like, don't complain about the pain. But use the pain to push you to greatness. Like, recycle your pain and turn it into a book. Like, recycle your pain and turn it into a song. Like, turn, turn, turn your pain into money. Like, I need you to turn your pain into money. But most of all, if you do these three things, guys, come on. Like, use your faith. Use your love. And be do the, do the work. Like, like, for real, for real. Your life will change. It's your boy, Dr. G, the love motivator. I love you guys. You know what time it is. Ah, it's another knockout time. Sunday is a new Monday. We grind. We show up. And we execute. Guess what? Because we're going to make today 
the best day yet. You know what time it is? 2023 is almost a wrap. So let's give it our best.